the information that I have in front of me is a list of fields and there's no formulas here but this information has been imported from another application uh, brought in by either a text file or a CSV file but in Excel one of the big things that people do use a lot of is the features formulas and functions that enables us to take this kind of information and to extract what we need from it now this is a very simple little database but it does show what I call product details there is a list of product names the supplier that supplies the product what category the product falls under and then there's just details about that product costs units in stock and so on finishing off with whether it's a continued or discontinued product now in the Excel advanced databasing course what the trainer is going to train you on is how to manage data like this this will be things like not just of course sorting and filtering which on an advanced level you should sort of know already but creating pivot tables pivot tables I'll show you one now give us the ability to take large amounts of information like this and to summarize it and most pivot tables should only take about a minute or two to put together here you can see I've put together a pivot table based on that products information you can see I've got each supplier name listed where I show the total units on order and the total units in stock under each supplier name I then show a list of the products that they supply and with that it shows what the totals of those products are so if I take something like Bigfoot Buries when looking at the original database Bigfoot Buries as a supplier does appear a number of times as you can see there but what I wanted to know was what was the total number of items in stock number of items on order for that supplier and I wanted it to see for all suppliers plus I wanted to know what were the products that they were supplying as well so by using the pivot table I was able to put together this kind of report but with the pivot table there's a lot of things that you can do for example I've used what we call slices which allows me here to choose whether the product is continued or discontinued so I can say look for items that are discontinued and then I can also choose what category of products I'm looking for so I can say I'm looking at beverages and that as you can see will filter the pivot table and this literally took me and it will take you a minute two minutes tops to set up so these are one of the kind of things that they're going to be showing you on this course we are also going to be looking at how to set up formulas in pivot tables how to format the pivot tables so you won't just learn how to create a pivot table like I have in front of me but also the additional features that with the standard Excel advanced course a lot of the times won't be covered besides pivot tables you're also going to look at taking databases like this and splitting one column into two separate columns An example if you had this particular table that I have in front of me I've got a list of employee names and surnames so one of the features I can do there is to actually turn that single column into two separate columns having a name and having a surname column and vice versa with pivot tables having the employee name as two separate columns would actually be a bit of a bad idea so we will also teach you how to join those columns together plus you'll learn how to convert to uppercase how to convert to lowercase how to take the entry of a cell and extract the first three characters or four characters or to extract the last three characters just depending on what you're looking at one of the other things you're going to learn in this database advanced course is how to take two separate Excel spreadsheets and match information in a column from the one sheet to information in a column on the other sheet and for example here on the first sheet product data A I have a list of product names now what I needed to do was to determine who supplies the product what is the unit in stock and the units on order so you will learn how to take the product that is listed there to find that product 
in any row within that column and then of course to then extract the results units and stock units and order and supply and the reason I would have to use a formula for something like this is because if you look at this first sheet you'll notice that when I use the formula to determine the supplier for some of the products a supplier was not found and the simple reason is that these products are not available on the other sheet so there was no way that I could have just gone and copied for example the units in stock and just pasted it in there because I would have had the wrong units in stock with the wrong products so I needed a proper foolproof system that would match what was typed there to the exact information on the other sheets and thus determining the answers. So you will be using formulas in this course but the formulas you're going to be using are not going to be based around sort of doing mathematical calculations. We, If dealing with spreadsheets like I have in front of me now is really all you're doing in Excel then the database advanced functionality course is definitely going to be the better course to attend.